Yeah, this is materials lesson three, stress strain and Young's modulus. So first of all, tensile stress. So a stretching force is also called a tensile force. In the equation, tensile stress is tensile force divided by cross-section area or cross-sectional area. Or well, sigma is equal to force over area. So stress is force over area. Force over area is obviously Newton's per meter square or Pascal's. And remember that one Pascal is equal to one Newton per meter square. So just a bit of information, breaking stress. So breaking stress is simply the stress required to cause a material to break. And then I'm going to give you a different equation and then I'm going to do some practice questions. So the other equation, tensile strain. Strain is extension divided by the original length. So strain, which we know as epsilon. So epsilon is equal to changing length over original length. And there's no unit, it's a ratio. Once you do this, so if you do an extension divided by original length, it gives you a decimal value. You can turn it into a percentage change by multiplying by 100. And in some questions, they give you the percentage change, and then you have to convert it into a decimal, and then use it in, in an equation. So you have to be careful of that, or be mindful of it. So using those two equations, let's have a go at this. We've got to pause and have a go at them. So a wire of natural length, 2.5 meters, and diameter, 0 0.5 millimeters, is extended by 5 centimeters, extended by 5 centimeters by a force of 40 newtons. So I'll calculate the tensile strain. The tensile strain, so we've got the equation. Strain is equal to change in length divided by original length. So the change in length is the 5 centimetres, so 0 0.05 divided by the original length, 2.5 metres. So that gives a strain of 0 0.02. And remember, we could change that into a percentage change by multiplying by 100. And multiply by 100 would give us 2%. Next is the tensile stress. So tensile stress, sigma, is force over area. So the force is 40 newtons divided by the area. Now the area is pi r squared, so it's pi times the radius, which would be, so we've got 0 0.5 millimeter diameter. So the radius is half that, so that would be 0 0.25 times 10 to the minus three. And then obviously we need to square that. So that would be force divided by the cross-sectional area. So if you put all that in your calculator, you'll get 203.7 times 10 to the 6 pascals, which rounds to 204 megapascals. So we've now got information to, sorry, we've got the information to do C anyway. C, the force required to break the wire if it's breaking stress is 1.5 times 10 to the 9 pascals. So we've got the breaking stress. So remember stress is force over area. And we want the force. So force is stress times area. So the breaking stress is 1.5 times 10 to the 9 multiplied by the area. So the pi r squared should be 1.96 times 10 to the minus seven, which you could have used. Or you can just put pi times radius squared once again. So 0 0.25 times 10 to the minus three squared. And that gives us a force of 294 Newtons. Hopefully that went okay. Let's move on. So the Young's modulus, E. The Young's modulus is the measure of a stiffness of a material. And it's given by doing tensile stress divided by tensile strain. So E is equal to sigma, sorry, uh, yeah, sigma divided by epsilon, or stress over strain. 
So the unit, well, stress is Pascal's and strain has got no units. So the unit is still Pascal's, the same as stress. So a bit more information, or a new equation, sorry. So Young's modulus is stress over strain. So what we can do is substitute in our equation, so force over area, divided by change in length over original length. So if we if we do a fraction divided by a fraction, we have to multiply by the inverse of the fraction underneath. So we'd end up with this. I've used E for extension. You'll see why in a moment. Because that equation, so Young's modulus is equal to I'm going to write it like this. E equals flea. See, very useful equation. So remember, E is measured in pascals. Force is measured in newtons. Original length in meters. Extension in meters. Area is obviously meters squared. So E equals flea. Stress over strain. So that's the second version. Very useful. Utilizes a lot in examinations. So I want you to that written down. Let's move on. So here's some examples of Young modulus. So diamond, 1200 times 10 to the 9 pascals. Titanium carbide, 345. Steel, Got copper, brass, glass. Oak is 12 times 10 to the 9. Rubber, 0 0.02 times 10 to the 9 pascals. So as you can see, all of these are in gigapascals. So... Giga, remember, is times 10 to the 9. That would be a normal way to give these values. So let's do this one. So pause and have a go. Calculate the tensile strain caused to a steel wire when put under 4 times 10 to the 7 pascals of stress. So the equation, Young's modulus, is stress over strain. And we want strain. So strain is equal to stress divided by the Young's modulus. So the stress is 4 times 10 to the 7 pascals divided by the Young's modulus of 210 times 10 to the 9. And that gives us 1.9 times 10 to the minus 4. If we times it by 100, it gives us a percentage change. So that would be 0.02%. Let's move on. So if you want to have a go at this one, just pause, have a go. A metal wire of original length 1.6 metres, cross-sectional area 0 0.8 millimetres squared, extends by 4 millimetres when stretched by a tensile force of 200 newtons. Calculate the wire strain, so that's what we'll do first. So strain, epsilon, is changing length over original length. Could use extension E if you wish. Could write E over R. So the extension is 4 millimetres, so 4 times 10 to the minus 3, divided by the original length of 1.6 metres. So that gives us a strain of 2.5 times 10 to the power minus 3, or 0.25%. Let's move on to part B. First of all, for part B, we're going to convert this area. So the easy thing to do, so you've got 0 0.8 millimetres squared, so I pretend it's just millimetres. So just as millimetres, it would be times 10 to the minus 3. And then I just imagine that squaring it means I've got to do that again. So times by another, times 10 to the minus 3. So we end up with 0 0.8 times 10 to the power of, and then we just add the exponents, the minus 3 and the minus 3 which you should know from GCC, so that would give us minus 6 square metres. So that's the area, 0 0.8 times 10 to the minus 6 metres squared. Let's get the stress now. So stress is force over area. So the force is given, it's 200 newtons. So we've got 200 divided by the cross-sectional area, which you just calculated. 0 0.8 times 10 to the minus 6, which gives us a stress of 
250 times 10 to the 3 or kilopascals. Of course, by kilo, I actually mean mega. Times 10 to the 6. Hopefully that's okay. Let's move on. Let's do the last bit, Young's Modulus. So Young's Modulus is stress over strain. So the stress is the 250 megapascals that we just got. So 250 times 10 to the 6. Divided by the strain, which we got earlier, to be 2.5 times 10 to the minus 3. So that gives 1 times 10 to the power of 11 pascals. And if you press engineer on your calculator, you get 100 times 10 to the 9, which is 100 gigapascals. So I hope that went okay. Sorry about the little error where I got the unit wrong, the kilo, uh, kilo instead of mega, but that's resolved now. Uh, hopefully that's helped, and I hope you got the questions right, and thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you soon.